All right, so here's Ramble, a little bit feminine. Once this completely dries, then I will trim all this. Um, en cuanto ya se seque estas, luego ya este las cortaré para que se vean un poco más de hombre. All right, so I covered them up because we're going to do some stubble or some five o'clock shadow. I know there are different pictures of Rambo. Some have that he has a lot of uh, stubble or even growing. But then there's a picture where it's kind of subtle. So that's probably what we're going to go for. Um, and have a little rag here just in case, you know, I dab it off so it doesn't look too prominent. I'm going to use black right now. Uh, watered down. And I want to get as fine as spots as possible. So... Let's get this going. All right, some are too big, so that's where I come in and and dab them off. Okay, and as always. I want to seal these little specks. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with some translucent black or transparent black. And I'm going to go very subtle just to give it a little bit more shading. Not too much. All right, so here he is with the five o'clock shadow. I don't know how the video's picking it up, but in person it looks pretty cool. All right. Okay, I got the eyes in, and here we are, the eyeballs. Um, and if you notice, um, he is a little bit dull because I actually sprayed him with dulling spray uh, because then we'll go in and try to do some, some, uh, sweat. Uh, uh, remember I use matte finish when I seal the paint um, but it, that gives them an overall kind of like a little shininess to them. This way it has no shine to them. It looks more like a skin tone um, so it's a lot better when we come in later for uh, the sweat. Okay, este, como lo ven ahorita, ahorita está un poco más opago que al principio. Cuando lo pinto y pongo los uh, sellos la pintura Uso el matte finish, que es opaco, pero tiene un, algo de brillo. Ah, pero ahorita le puse otro que es mucho más opaco, que es el Dolling Spray. Ah, no sé cómo se dice español, disculpen. Ah, entonces eso se le, le da una vista no tan brillosa. Ah, ya después que, que termine, ah, se lo va a poner, o tratar de poner, este, como sudor. Y ahorita lo que vamos a hacer es ponerle los ojos. Y vamos a ver. Alright, so to put the eyes on, I'm going to use epoxy sculpt, equal amounts, A and B. Um, there we go. Para poner los ojos, voy a usar el, la pasta esta epoxy sculpt. The size of the eyes I'm using are 24 millimeters, which is uh, more of a human size eyeball. I did get 26 millimeters, but it, they looked the iris looked way too big. Uh, la medida de los ojos son 24 millimeters. Agarré unos que tenían que, que eran 26 millimeters, pero pero el iris era muy muy grande, no se veía normal. Okay, so we just mix this up. Vamos a mezclarlo todo.
Okay, so ponerlo así. We're going to add it towards the back of the eyeball and we're going to put him inside. I'm pushing the putty in back of the eyeball towards the the, the uh, resin. Okay, estoy estoy pechorrando el epoxy hacia atrás para que se pegue en el ojo. Now, once I put the other one, then I'll, I'll position them the way I think they'll look better. Okay, so we just let them dry. We need to let the epoxy dry. Now the white area is very white, so you don't want that to be too white. It looks fake. So we'll go in there once they're completely dry in the next, you know, four hours, because that epoxy needs to be nice and hard. And uh, we'll paint our, uh, the white area, just to give it a little hint of yellowish tones and we'll add some veins in there. Uh, just to make it look more realistic uh, because the way they come it's way too white uh, ok por el momento vamos a dejar que eso se seque más o menos unas 4 horas para que no se van a caer uh, lo blanco está bastante blanco porque vienen muy blanco entonces después de que se que se va a ir y voy a pintarle un poquito como amarillito y luego ponerle una, que otra vez, unas venitas ahí a los ojos para que se vean un poco más real mientras vamos a pintar esto. Meanwhile, let's just go ahead and paint the uh, headband. Okay, so here's the uh, headband. It's a little bit too clean, so I mixed up some black paint and a little bit of red. And we're just gonna kind of like, you know, just make it look a little bit different. Aunque se vea muy, muy limpio la tela, así que vamos a ensuciarlo un poquito con un poquito en negro con rojo con agua mezclada Aquí lo vamos a ver si mejor lo voy a meter todo Okay, so this thing will dry actually a little lighter. So what I'm doing is getting a brush with some black paint on there and just making it a little bit dirtier in certain areas. And hopefully once it dries, the dark area will stay darkish and dirty <coughs> and not, you know, give it the same uh, color as red. Okay, todavía no se seca, pero cuando se seque se va a ver más rojo de lo que es. Entonces ahorita es una brocha con algo de pintura negra. Nada más para ensuciarlo un poco. Para que cuando se seque, no se vea del completo rojo. Alright, so while the bandana or the headband is drying, uh, the client wants him to be a little dirty, so we'll see how we're going to do that. hope I don't mess it up. Uh, I mixed up some brown and some black, and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, el cliente quiere que lo ensucie un poco, así que vamos a ver qué pasa para ensuciarlo como si estuviera en batalla.
Well, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but there's some kind of smudges and dirt on him. Uh, I don't want to go overboard because you don't want him to look dark. Um, okay, no sé si se puede ver en la cámara, pero ya le puse un poco de, de mugre. Uh, no quiero ponerle de más porque se puede ver muy mal, creo yo. Okay, so I'm just using fabric tack uh, to glue the headpiece. Estoy usando este pegamento para pegarle. All right, let's paint the bandana. We're gonna start with some red and mix it in with the black, kind of to match this guy. Vamos a pintar la el lo de acá arriba ah, ahorita con rojo y le voy a mezclar un poquito de de negro para que se vea como el de acá All right guys, so it's actually done. I just need to add some uh, sweat on this guy. And that was kind of tricky because I've been trying the different materials. Not on him because I didn't want to ruin the paint in case it didn't work. Uh, I've tried, uh, you know, I figured, hey, I did the water on the creature so I figured this would work. And uh, the realistic water since it's supposed to uh, dry clear. And it does, but when I put it on the uh, another bus that I had, uh, it just didn't work. It, it, I mean, it turned. Let me show you here. Uh, it turned yellow, and then I tried other uh, clear resins, and they turned white, and it took kind of like the paint off. Or you can see the difference of the paint. So that was kind of tricky. The only one that ended up working that I can see. What the hell is it? I can't find it. But let's hope it works. Um, I actually ended up calling or getting in touch with uh, the sculptor of Rambo since he had one with uh, the the sweat. Um, it, it, excuse me if I don't pronounce it right. Ed, Edinho Maga. Uh, so he recommended the um, a, a certain resin which I did purchase, which was the resin and Enver Virotex Light. Uh, kind of like the stuff you put like over plates or photographs. But that didn't work either. I don't know. Maybe it's different uh, over there in Brazil. But that didn't work for me. And then I got a hold of uh, another uh, guy who did a Rambo as well and added the sweat uh, from the uh, replica prop form. Uh, and excuse me if I don't pronounce it right again. Uh, lighter or litter Jojo. So thank you for the uh, recommendation. I tried that on the other bust and it turned out pretty good. So I got the clear Alumalite. So we're going to put that uh, equal amounts of each one and we will see if it works uh, I mean it worked on the other bus they look clear so you know cross your fingers it doesn't mess up the paint job so let's get that going ok ahorita vamos a ponerle el sudor a ver si resulta con resina blanca bueno perdón no blanca resina clara <laughs> 